titanium is safe, effective and proven, right? But here is what most patients think and why some are already turning away from you. In this video, I will talk with you about the sad but growing truth about titanium implants, the silent shift that is already happening and how it might affect your practice already without you even being aware of. So if you don't want to fall behind in implant dentistry and risk getting left in the dust by competitors around you, make sure you watch until the end of this video as I will walk you through three essential questions that will help you decide if ceramic implants are the right move for your clinic. And I've also prepared a free guide to help you take the next step with confidence. Hi, my name is Dr. Tobias and I've been in dentistry for more than 17 years specializing in biological concepts and ceramic implants and on this channel and in my programs and courses I am teaching you the best concepts, the necessary dental and non-dental skills as well as the practical implementation of ceramic implants and biological dentistry in your clinic. Because with ceramic implants you don't just transform people's lives by creating healthier smiles for healthier patients, you also transform your practice into a trusted destination for health conscious individuals, allowing you to stand out, increase your income through higher value care and build a reputation that truly lasts. Titanium has been used for decades. It's predictable, it works, so why change something that isn't broken? Because the rules have changed, and not in the surgical manual, but in the mind of your patients. Today's patients are more informed than ever. They Google, they ask, they join Facebook groups, and they start to question materials that were never questioned before. I mean, with amalgam, we should be on the same page that using mercury in our patients isn't exactly what we should do if we really care about their health. But you and I know titanium isn't inherently dangerous, but what patients perceive, that's what drives decisions. And their perception is shifting. And frankly, there are numerous reasons to question titanium. I made several videos, webinars and courses about it. So it's absolutely understandable that you can hear more and more patients saying, I don't want metal in my body. Isn't titanium inflammatory? And I've heard zirconia is healthier, so do you offer that? And here's the kicker, in a 2022 survey, over 80% of patients said they would prefer ceramic implants over titanium, even if they had to pay more. So that's not a niche preference, that's a market trend. And yes, it's also an aesthetic decision. Zirconia doesn't shine through soft tissue. There is no gray shimmer in thin biotypes. It looks and feels more like a natural tooth and patients notice. So if you're still offering titanium as your only option, you might not hear objections, but more and more aware and health conscious patients will simply not come back. And this is the group of patients willing to invest in their health and well-being, not only looking for the cheapest spare parts for their missing teeth. Let's be brutally honest, titanium implants have become a commodity. They are offered everywhere. They are on price comparison sites. And if 10 dentists in your area offer the same thing, your only differentiation is the price tag. But when you offer something better, something that feels healthier and more advanced, more in line with modern expectations, you shift from commodity to a premium provider. You attract a different kind of patient, one that chooses for who you are, not just what you cost. And don't worry, you don't have to throw away your titanium tray tomorrow, but you do need to be ready ready to answer questions about zirconia, ready to offer a biological option for sensitive and high demand patients, and ready to position yourself as someone who is evolving and not stuck in the past. The worst position to be in is the patient asking, do you do ceramic implants? And you say, uh, well, uh, not really. So before you move on to your next patient or your next case, I want to leave you three powerful questions I promised you in the beginning. What kind of patients do you actually want to attract in the next five years? And is your current implant system aligned with that? What would it mean for your clinic if you were known as the biological implant expert in your region instead of just one of many titanium providers? And what is the real cost of waiting 
and procrastinating while your colleagues might already positioning themselves with ceramic implants. If you want to get clear on your next step, I've put together a short guide that will help you evaluate whether switching to zirconia is right for your clinic and how to start without unnecessary risk and without throwing out everything you've built so far. You will find the link in the description box below and if it resonates in this guide, there is also a link to book a free call where we can talk personally about your goals and how we can bring ceramic implants into your practice the smart way. But start with the guide because it's free and it's built exactly for where you are now. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like and leave a comment below because I want to know, do you already get questions about ceramic implants or are your patients still quiet about it for now? Let's compare notes and see you in the next video because if we can do better, we should do better.